Hey Fey and Fiends, welcome to Karma Crafts. I've been playing the D&D campaign Dragon of Icepire Peak with my wife, and since I've gotten into mini painting, she requested the titular dragon. Excited, I printed the dragon, but have been sitting on it for some time as the size is rather daunting. Obviously, it's a huge, terrifying, man-eating dragon. Well, either way, I tackled it. Join me on this wild adventure. Due to the volume of paint needed for this model, I used a plastic palette instead of my wet palette. I used Army Painter's Matte White, Elven Flesh, Pixie Pink, which I had to mix with white since it's very strong pink, Void Shield Blue, Hydra Turquoise, and Wolf Gray, but that one is a bit odd. I did use Wolf Gray, but halfway through I decided Turquoise worked better as a shade, so you can kind of disregard that one. The last ingredient is very important, since I didn't want to use any of these paints at full pigmentation. They'd be much too thick. This is Midwinter Mini's Medium Mix. A link the video I followed in the comments, but briefly it's a mix of one part water to one part acrylic medium. I used this speedball medium because I had a ton on hand, and you also need to add a drop of dish soap. This mix works better than water to dilute your paints. It adds flow, keeps your paint from being gloopy, and adds some protection to them as well. When you add it to your paint, it will make it look a bit lighter since the medium is white, but it dries clear so the color isn't actually impacted. While I'm showing you the steps, keep in mind my workflow is chaotic. I'm not really the type to finish one step and move on. My flow is more back and forth, but I'm going to demonstrate in a linear fashion. So if one of my shots looks more complete than the last, that's what happened. So we have our tools, and we have our mini, and we have our anxiety! We're ready to go! I began with Wolf Grey to start blocking and shading. However, I painted over this entire step for the finished product, so I'm not going to lurk on it. You'll see why soon enough. Next, I began blocking out pink. Many opalescent things have a pink inference to them where light hits. Think about where you want the light to come from and focus on those surfaces. If you're starting out like I am, just focus on one side of the model over the other. For the dragon, I tried to make the left side of the model hit by light. For the wings, remember that they're a thin membrane between the fingers, like a bat's. Unlike the body, any place the light hits will cast all the way through, so shade both the outside and the inside of the wing pretty similarly. The gray and the pink are too obviously different, so to ease the shading, I added Void Shield Blue. And... About here, right when I was adding white, I realized, uh, no matter what I did, this was going to be a lot of effort for a really ugly dragon. So I started over. This time I primed using Krylon White Primer. Works great. It's cheap. I usually work a dark to light, but here it wasn't working, so I decided to work light to dark. This change immediately made everything work better. Same exact colors. But due to the semi-transparent nature of thin coats, the colors took on the white and appeared more pastel. The next steps were the same, shade in blue to pink, leading to white at the warmest parts. With the new white prime background, I did need to add shadows. Using Wolf Grey and later switching to Hydra Turquoise because I like the color better, I go over the lower edge of any muscles and also the area between the legs, especially on the side away from the light's direction. Don't worry too much about overdoing it. Mixed with the medium, you can blend the darks with the lights pretty easily, especially before the paint dries. Don't be afraid to fill your brush with both colors when you're trying to blend the two found it works just fine, if you have a bit of a light touch about it.
now back to about the same spot I was with the gray base and you can see how much better the white base worked. That's just how it goes. Sometimes you have to admit when something isn't working and put it aside or approach it from a different angle. About here I realized I wanted some more color, specifically to push the direction of the light. Here, hit a few choice places with orange to bring attention to the model. Most of the model is painted at this point. Not many areas are still straight white from the primer. This is by design, as there isn't any way to bring white up lighter. So I wanted to paint all of the details straight white. That's where the dragon scales come in. This particular model has very well defined scales, so I chose to be insane and individually dot every single scale on the entire dragon. If you aren't crazy, you may want to dry brush instead. I did dry brush the scales on my dragon's face because they were very, very small. Be careful to keep your strokes one direction when dry brushing. I brushed down the dragon's belly to highlight the edges of it. It also created a nice streaking texture across the flat part of the plates. For the wings, I chose more of left and right strokes to try and get up to the edge of the fingers as much as I could. Each took a few layers to make really white. Make sure you wait for one layer to dry before you begin another, otherwise they may blur and you'll lose the definition that you're trying to get. And we're done! Unfortunately for me, I chose this for a contest and I only had a month. It was simply too much of a project for me. I learned a lot from this project and my advice to you would be to give yourself ample time for big projects. Big models are tough and the next one I'm going to do over a long time in between smaller projects. I love this dragon and I'm so excited to slap him down on the table to do epic combat, but it'll be a while before my next large creature. Thank you for watching, and I hope you felt inspired. You can tackle terrifying projects at any time. They'll have trials and tribulations, but you'll never overcome them until you try, and I know you can. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care, and always have fun.